One day only, today and tomorrow, all sales final. This is what Charity told me. Difficult to be named after a virtue, especially one that has gone completely out of style. It's a lot of pressure. People expect you to be good in that way, to exhibit the qualities of the sign. You hear your name a lot in anger and interrogation. If you're lucky in love. Language embraced. White coral bells upon a slender stalk. Lilies of the valley deck my garden walk. Oh, don't you wish that you could hear them ring? Perhaps you hear your virtue name cooed or blamed. Maybe you get announced randomly. Or you're part of a scolding. Don't expect any charity from her. In a world almost entirely devoid of meaning, you are an emblem, a concept, the polar bear on her shrinking ice island. That will only happen when the fairies sing. It was nice knowing you, but you are no longer needed on earth, thank you very much. Your virtue is out of style. We can do without you. Don't get me wrong, it's nice to see you, really. Personally, I have no problems with you. Hail the dove, that bitch promised land offers hope an end to being squished, rocking, damp, surrounded by two of every flora and fauna, seasick, debts paid, land ahoy! I conjured him, harmonic rhapsodic. I conjured him from black matter, the infinite ether. I drew my ideal penis on the bathroom stall wall. I saw it in my mind. I drew it, and he appeared. The perfect dick. You'd probably like to see it. But I wouldn't dare conjure him again. Got the t-shirt. Not everyone values kindness. Some people are only interested in what they characterize as success, but I would call inordinate cruelty. My mother never did anything nice for anyone else unless there was something concrete in it for her. The first major hurricane of the year rips into the coast of the Carolinas, packing winds of more than 100 miles an hour. Or unless it benefited a social climb she was contemplating making, which in her mind was the same thing. Sweeping everything before it, the big blow named Connie makes matchwood of beach homes and drives thousands to the interior for shelter. My childhood was house arrest peppered with gross humiliation, random psychological beatings that kept me crippled and in my place. Cars are almost submerged in the rising tides as the twister levels everything in its path. Everything orderly. Nothing kind. Crop damage may run into the millions. Releasing heavy metal memories now. of betrayal. A battle starts in the dressing room. Someone has borrowed or stolen makeup or stockings or a boyfriend or is simply offended in some way. The battle will escalate to involve all contestants and personnel.
How do you really know how you feel until the emotion sensation complex reaches outside the limits of inner feeling and touches the realms of how we live in and among one another? A free woman. A woman free to feel and express herself. Free from convention. Rituals that castrate, clitoridectomize, lynch. I shared peace with him. We were in that space together. It didn't last long. I liked it. A lot. And I know that peace can exist between a man and a woman now. People can inhabit that space together. Not from analysis. Love cannot come from analysis. In the face of tragedy, my mother was unmoved. She did not seem to care about the passing away of love or life. Only gaining or losing position got her emotions going. She was obsessed with power, with gaining advantage. These obsessions emerged from her greed. She was an insatiable, pathological sociopath masquerading as an enlightened incandescent. She was far more popular than I'll ever be. Life reveals the love inside itself. The mind walks through its mazes designed to distract us from amazement at the splendor of the immensities that embrace us. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Have you ever put a lampshade on your head, sighing for silent distances? Making silly faces? Then the flagrant fragrance of death curtails delight. 